Hey, good morning and welcome to this episode of Fresh Word. I want to come to you this morning with a question that has been uh, kind of coming through our minds is, what about holiness in the life of the believer? And what that means. And, you know, a lot of times people think, well, I've come to Christ, but I'm not yet perfect. And then there are some who will say that they've reached perfection, you know, their sinless perfection. And I think, wow, they can only walk on water. That'd be great. But, you know, there's that, that holiness. You know, I'm, I'm born again. I give my life to Christ. And then what happens because we read, you know, like in 1 John, where we'll read whoever abides in him does not sin. You know, so what does that mean? And then he say, he goes on to say, whoever sins has neither seen him nor, or, nor knows him. And so what does that mean that, uh, well, I still sin, I must not be saved, you know, or it's a common question that pops up in a lot of believers, especially those who are beginning their walk or that haven't done much with their walk as far as maturing. And I just got to tell you this, I think Paul in Romans chapter 7 brings out some very clear kind of, uh, I believe it's his testimony even that he's sharing, I don't do the things that I want to do. I do those things I don't find myself practicing. And he goes on and on and on and on. I think it's a daily struggle. When we're in the battle, I, pro I, I, I think that that um, proves in a sense that we're saved because why would we battle if we weren't saved? The flesh is warring against the spirit. So the holiness is the more that we draw close to the Lord. And when he, you know, he points these things out in our lives that aren't beneficial, they're not going to be healthy. They're not going to be um, profitable for us to grow in, in him and our relationship with him. And are we willing to set those things aside? So whatever it might be, it might be, you know, dating to the extreme, you know, or living with somebody while you're uh, not married, you know, or it could be going out and tying one on, you know, drinking and parting away. And, and you know, what, what is it? And it could just be laziness gluttony it could be any of these things and so you just whatever god is ministering to your heart about are you willing to give it up and and then we're, we're wanting more of him less of us more of him on a daily basis and so you think of holiness and what that means you know i think of i think of the lord just how he's given himself for us and he's rescued us from sin and death and he's given us eternity to be with him and so we're coming we're washed of our sins as justified but then the holiness really starts, though we're justified, it begins during the sanctification process until we move on to glorification. And so that sanctifying, God is always pointing some things out in my life, like yours, to where we're in the Word of God, He's speaking to our hearts, and then are we willing to say, yes and amen, Lord, that's the way I want to live my life. And taking that old man away and bringing on the new man. Living a life that was once unrighteous, unholy, now living a life that is holy unto the Lord. Perfect, not this side of heaven, but I think it's important that we look at striving to honor the one and please the one who's given his life for us. So you won't reach perfection this side of heaven, but don't stop letting God continually change you on a daily basis by being in his word and being filled with the Holy Spirit. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, Pastor Al here, Calvary Chapel with Fresh Word. You know, oftentimes we have a question to ask, but we don't know where to go, what to do. Would I be a fool for asking it, whatever. I wanna encourage you in the comments below, write your question and we will get you an answer, Lord willing. God bless you guys.